Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Today I'd like to do a follow-up video from a video I put out yesterday talking about two different ways of trading the stock market. At one end of a spectrum, buy and hold strategy, buying a stock, holding it for the long term, typically greater than one year, without really worrying about the price of a stock over the short term. And at the opposite end of that spectrum, buying and selling a stock on the same day. Buying a stock low, selling it high, trying to repeat that as many times as possible to magnify a return with a fixed amount of capital. And in between is sort of a hybrid strategy, buying a stock, uh, trying to buy low, and then selling off high at a later date, maybe over a few days, maybe over a few weeks. And then typically tr doing uh, a limit sell order, uh, whether that is a 1% or 2% or 5% increase in the price of the stock, then trying to buy it back when it trends down a bit. That's kind of what I want to talk about, how I trade the stock market or how I add to positions that are currently in my portfolio. So typically what I do is I buy a stock that I think is going to have some good long-term performance, not only with capital appreciation, but also a dividend return. As you guys know, I typically like high, di high dividend blue chip stocks that have market capitalizations greater than $50 billion. Those are very good long-term buys, but you can also use my strategy to add to those positions. So essentially what you do is find a stock uh, like I said, that uh, has a little bit of ver uh, variability in the price. And what you try to do is, for example, you buy a fixed set of shares here. Then when it trends up by a certain percentage, typically I try to do about 1% or so. When it trends up, you want to go ahead and sell half of the shares you bought here. So let's say you buy 50, or excuse me, let's say you buy 100 shares here. You go ahead and sell 50 of those here. When it trends back again, typically a 1% change in the price of a stock. But depending on the price of the stock, these thresholds will, will be a little bit different. For some stocks, it may be 1%. For other stocks, it may be 2%. For some stocks, it may be 5%. Then you go ahead and buy back you know, 100 units again. Or essentially, you buy back twice of what you sold here. So let's say I bought 100 here. I sell off 50. So I have 50 left. When it trends back down again, I go ahead and buy uh, double what I had before. So I buy another 100. And now I have 150 total. When it trends up here, I sell 75. So now I have 75. When it trends back again, I'll buy 150. So it's essentially you're averaging up or averaging down over the course of a particular time period. So again, buy 100 here, sell off 50. You have 50 left. So you buy double that, 100 back. Uh, basically, now you have 150 because 50 plus the 100 that you just bought. When it trends back up, you sell half that uh, again. So half 150, 75. When it trends back, you buy 150 again with the 75, so you have 225, and you continue that process, and over time, you can build up the number of shares you have in a stock. And you can see here, I have 704 shares of this stock, $26,892, and that's how I've really added to this position. You buy on the dip, you sell on the rally. Buy on the dip, sell on the rally. And over time, you can average up or average down on a price of a stock to magnify your returns. So again, you would buy you know, essentially 100 here, Maybe sell off 50, buy back here, sell off, buy back, sell off. And really, it's dependent on the price movement of a stock. So typically, like I said, I put in a limit buy and limit sell order. So if I bought here, I'd just go ahead. After I bought this stock at 37.72, for example, or 37.70, if I can keep the uh, ticker uh, straight here, then I'll just go ahead and put in, calculate what a 1% or 2% uptick would be, then put in that limit sell. So I don't even have to watch the stock. Once it hits that, it sells. I'll be notified of that. Then I'll go ahead and put a limit buy-in again, maybe a dollar or a percent below that particular price. And this can be a percentage or it can be a dollar amount. And then you just repeat that moving forward. That's how I've added to a lot of my positions here. Uh, Abbott Laboratories, uh, kind of the same fashion as well. Uh, when it trends up, you sell, you buy, you sell. And sometimes you have to wait a long period of time before you can buy again. But that's typically how I do it. So you'd buy here sell here, buy back here, sell here. And those are all based on limit buy and limit sell order. So you don't have to be watching the price of the stock over a long period of time. So that's how I've been adding to my positions, a kind of a hybrid model between a buy and hold and day trading strategy. Essentially a swing trading strategy of buying about double of what uh, you sell. So if you buy 100 here, you sell 50. Then you buy double of what you had before, and then you sell off half of that. Then you buy double that, and you sell off half of that. And over time, you can really magnify your returns by doing that. So that's kind of what I've been doing with my portfolio. Let me know what you guys have been doing with your portfolios if you do a similar strategy or something completely different altogether. Always interested in seeing how you guys play the markets. 
um, along with some of my strategies that I do. So kind of with that, I'm going to end the video here. As always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next video, we'll see you then.